I wanted to see if I could boost the power of my 100 watt mag light even further. Oh my gosh. Old school cool, day seven. To do this, rather than use the 12 cell battery carrier that I showed in previous videos, I'm gonna weld up a pack made of 13 cells. I'm a weld up. Uh, how you like that? This will overvolt the 100 watt light bulb to 160.68 watts. I can only get away with this because my light has what's known as a soft start. It's a switch that has a pulse width modulator built into it. The PWM turns the light on and off at a very high rate of speed. This allows the filament to warm up slowly to prevent breaking. It's also used to create the lower output modes. This is the first battery pack I've ever made, so take what you see here with a box of salt. After charging up all the cells individually and letting them rest overnight, I clamped them all together in parallel. When batteries are connected like this, if one of them has a higher voltage than the others, it will empty some of its juice into all the other cells, ensuring the voltage of every cell is identical. Here's what AI thought that should look like. I bought this cheap spot welder on Amazon, and I am great at using it. I know what I'm doing, and things often go my way. I tried some different things like holding the pedal for a certain number of seconds and cranking the power up, but eventually I just settled on doing multiple zaps. This gave me the most consistent results. entirely certain who made the very first mag 623 however i did find a 2007 post by lux luther relating to this 623 made by mad maxabeam he said quite frankly my mad 2d model was becoming a shelf duster until he came up with a new idea in response to my pms today i got a new design from mad max where the key is having added a 13th battery. I don't know what Lux Luther put in his, but there are a lot of sharp metal connections crossing over each other at the tail end of this pack, and I don't care for relying on wads of tape. For this reason, I had to make a few components on my lathe in order to stiffen up the tail end of this pack. So to get the pack as rigid as possible, I made a capsule from acetal and brass to house the 13th cell. I made a seat for the spring to snap into and put a hole in the center for a piece of copper wire so the current could flow through that rather than the steel spring. A tab is added to the battery, then welded to the pack. The positive end of the pack is a sawed-off D-cell. Sawed-off. A sawed-off D-cell. A sawed-off D-cell! This chart by Lux Luther is what we used to rate output back in the day, but his tests were measuring the bulb output. I don't have my set of calibration lights here right now, so just remember what I said earlier about the box of salt. I tested the 12 cell pack and I got 3,144 lumens at peak. The 13 cell pack gave me 4,375. Mag 623 with 12 cell pack, 3 inch 5 mega head. Okay, 
13 cell. Oh my gosh. That is just beautiful. That upgrade makes such a difference. Wow. Unbelievable. The difference is not just the brightness, but the color of the light is incredible. Twelve cell six twenty three with a regular mag light size head now. When you drive incandescent bulbs harder, they shift from warmer tints to more neutral leaving behind the dingier colors like orange and turd brown, and they move up toward the blue spectrum, which appears more white. Now, why don't we compare it to one of my 4200 lumen LED upgrades for Maglite. <laughs> okay, the f wow, the fog is in. How about we do the 160.68 watt versus a lit match? 